In this podcast episode, Jaspreet Singh shares his journey of financial education and entrepreneurship, highlighting the importance of understanding wealth-building strategies and the flaws in the traditional education system when it comes to financial literacy. Singh initially believed that success was directly correlated to going to school, getting a good degree, and securing a job. However, as he delved deeper into financial and business books, he realized that many of the wealthiest individuals did not follow the traditional path of education and employment. This realization sparked his interest in entrepreneurship and investing. During college, Singh started an event planning company, leveraging his connections from working at Indian weddings. He transitioned this business to college parties, generating income and savings. Inspired by the concept that wealthy individuals invest in real estate, Singh purchased his first investment property at the age of 19 for a significantly reduced price post-2008 crash. This experience opened his eyes to the potential of passive income through real estate investments. Despite pursuing a path towards becoming a doctor to fulfill his parents' expectations, Singh began questioning the traditional narrative of success. He realized that simply climbing the corporate ladder and relying solely on a salary could leave individuals vulnerable to financial instability. This led him to explore alternative wealth-building strategies beyond conventional career trajectories. Singh highlights how financial institutions and governments benefit from keeping individuals financially uneducated. Banks profit from individuals keeping their savings in accounts despite losing value to inflation. Governments rely on high taxes from employees and consumers, while wealthy individuals strategically navigate tax laws to minimize their tax obligations legally. Singh discusses the importance of understanding tax laws and utilizing strategies to minimize tax liabilities. He emphasizes the distinction between tax avoidance, legal, and tax evasion, illegal, and provides examples of how wealthy individuals like Elon Musk leverage stock options and loans to manage their income and tax obligations effectively. Singh advises business owners to strategically structure their expenses to maximize tax deductions, such as utilizing deductions for business-related expenses like travel and meals. Singh underscores the importance of working with tax advisors who can provide guidance on maximizing tax benefits within the legal framework. He shares insights on how wealthy individuals strategically spend and invest their money to optimize tax efficiency, highlighting the dynamic nature of tax laws and the need for ongoing financial planning to adapt to changing regulations. Singh addresses the ethical considerations surrounding tax optimization and emphasizes the importance of understanding the tax code as a tool for financial growth. He encourages individuals to consider the impact of their financial decisions on both personal wealth accumulation and societal contributions, highlighting the potential for strategic financial management to create opportunities for business growth and social impact. Singh emphasizes the importance of having the right mindset when it comes to building wealth. He believes that believing in one's ability to achieve success is crucial for taking the necessary steps towards financial freedom. He encourages individuals to think differently from the majority as following conventional wisdom often leads to financial struggles. He stresses the need for self-education and continuous learning to develop a mindset that is conducive to financial success. To lay a strong foundation for financial stability, Singh recommends saving at least $2,000 for emergencies and paying off high-interest debts. He advises individuals to cut financial bleeding by prioritizing debt repayment and creating a savings buffer to protect against unforeseen expenses. Singh suggests saving 3 to 12 months worth of expenses, depending on one's risk tolerance and financial responsibilities. In the lead your money phase, Singh advocates for creating a financial system that includes both saving and investing. He introduces the 75-15-10 plan, where 75% of income is spent, 15% is invested, and 10% is saved. This systematic approach ensures that individuals consistently allocate a portion of their earnings towards building wealth. He emphasizes the importance of investing money to combat inflation and generate long-term wealth. He recommends passive investing through vehicles like ETFs and index funds 
for those who prefer a hands-off approach to investing. While saving and investing are essential for long-term financial growth, Singh also highlights the importance of earning more money to improve one's quality of life. He suggests exploring opportunities to increase income through side hustles, entrepreneurship, or career advancement. By earning more, individuals can afford to live more comfortably and enjoy the benefits of their financial efforts. In addition to personal financial growth, Singh emphasizes the importance of giving back to the community and supporting others in need. He shares a heartwarming story of purchasing items from a struggling store during the pandemic and donating them to a school in Detroit. His act of generosity extended to providing financial support to teachers at the school, demonstrating his commitment to making a positive impact on those around him. Passive investing involves setting up automatic investments in ETFs that give exposure to a diversified portfolio of stocks. Singh suggests investing in ETFs that track major indices like the Dow Jones, which consists of 30 large companies in the stock market. By investing in a few key ETFs, one can gain exposure to hundreds of stocks without the need for active management. The key to passive investing is to continue investing consistently, even during market downturns, and to resist the urge to sell during periods of volatility. By staying invested for the long term and taking advantage of market downturns to buy more, investors can build wealth over time. Singh also discusses his active investing strategies, which involve investing in his own businesses, real estate, stocks, cryptocurrency, and physical gold. He explains that active investing requires more hands-on involvement and research to identify investment opportunities. He shares his personal investment portfolio, which includes a mix of passive and active investments across different asset classes. He highlights the importance of diversification and having a clear investment strategy based on long-term goals. In real estate investing, Singh shares his experiences of starting out at a young age and facing challenges and setbacks along the way. He recounts a particularly difficult deal that taught him valuable lessons about due diligence, property management, and financial planning. Despite the initial struggles, he persevered and learned from his mistakes, eventually building a successful real estate portfolio. He emphasizes the importance of conducting thorough research, understanding market trends, and seeking opportunities in growing areas with potential for cash flow. When considering new real estate investments, Singh focuses on achieving a 7% cash-on-cash return annually. He looks for properties in areas with stable or rising populations and evaluates the potential for rental income and appreciation. He emphasizes the need for a clear investment thesis and a disciplined approach to property selection. He also discusses the impact of rising interest rates on real estate investments and the importance of monitoring market trends and economic indicators. In the current economic environment, Singh highlights the Federal Reserve's efforts to combat inflation by raising interest rates. He explains how higher interest rates can lead to higher mortgage rates, which in turn can impact borrowing costs and consumer spending. He cautions investors to be mindful of the potential effects of rising interest rates on real estate investments and to adjust their strategies accordingly. He stresses the importance of staying informed about economic developments and adapting investment plans to changing market conditions.